Okay, so in addition to any earned income you might receive, we'll also need to see evidence of any other income that you receive. And examples of this could be your tax credits, a pension, or any state benefits, uh, basically any other income that you receive on a regular basis. Uh, and the evidence that we would need to see of this could be your award letter uh, or your pay slips from your pension provider. Uh, it may be that you don't receive pay slips from your pension provider, so uh, your most recent uh, pension increase or decrease letter that should have been sent to you in about a uh, April time, uh, confirming your payments for this year uh, will suffice. Um, another income that you may receive is uh, rental income. Now you may receive this on a uh, second property that you own, or it may, you may be renting a room in the property you live in. Uh, now the evidence we'd need to see of that would be your tenancy agreement or lodger agreement with your tenant. Uh, it's also worth noting that although childcare costs is not an income, uh, it is worth you providing evidence of these costs because it could have a uh, positive effect on your benefits. Um, so if you do work uh, and pay childcare costs, you'll need to provide your contract with your registered childminder and on this it must confirm what your weekly or monthly payments are to them uh, and for what child. Uh, please ensure you provide all this information and evidence within one calendar month on the date of your suspension allowance.